Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, continuing my video series on the Flash Forge AD5X and sharing with you some of the experiences that I've had with this printer as I lead up to the full review. And some of the ideas that I get for these videos actually comes directly from you guys sharing your thoughts in the comment sections of these videos. And one such comment came from someone who wanted to know if they were going to be able to print TPU tires and then have the words on the side of those tires colored in so that they don't have to paint it themselves. And I was like, hmm, quite curious. So I went online and I found myself an STL file of a tire that has some words along the side of it. And I printed it on the 85X using some black TPU. Now, I didn't print this with supports, and when I sliced it, I sliced it so that the words were face down on the plate because I thought it would help it to look a little bit neater. Not the best idea that I've ever had because at the end of the day, it did need supports printed in that way. It got quite stringy as it continued to build up. It still maintained the form of the tire, but some supports were needed. And at the end, even though I tried, to print the letters in white TPU, it didn't come out the way that I wanted to. So let me show you the first result. Now it's going to be pretty impossible for you to be able to even see the letters because on this particular tire, the letters are recessed as opposed to just lying on top. And I don't know, maybe if you look real hard, you can kind of see what turned out to be a grayish color for the text that's in the tire. And like I said, I did print this face down. You can't really even see it, so it's pretty bad. But Here's a look at the rest of the tire. And this tire did need support, so it was pretty stringy. I just ripped all of those strings off. So even though the tire came out all right, the letters did not. So I needed to try again. And this time, I tried to learn from my previous mistakes. And instead of printing the text face down on the texture build plate, instead, I had it facing straight up towards the sky. And again, I didn't do any support, so it was still kind of stringy on the inside. But the result was noticeably better than the last time that I tried it, although still not up to the standard that I think some folks in the community that love to print tires for like RC cars and stuff would like to see. So let me show you how that turned out. So definitely not the worst thing in the world, but I think what eventually happened here is that because the letters were recessed into the tire, you know, it just doesn't pop. But for what is there in those tiny letters, I don't think the 85X did a bad job. It's just, it's really recessed. And then there was some more printing of the black TPU over on top of that. So you can still make it out, but still it's not going to really pop, you know, when you put it on a car. And this wheel is something that I printed out separately that I stuffed into the tire. So it's a pretty good fit. All right. So that's how that looked. But I know I needed something that wasn't recessed. So I tried a third way. Over on Maker World, I found this Pirelli tire keychain, and this one did actually have the text on top of the tire and not embedded into the tire. So once again, I sliced it inside Orca Flash Forge, and I sent it over to the 85X, and I printed the text so that it can be on the top. And the results came out pretty good, but there's this one weird thing that's been nagging me, and I can't figure it out. And I'm hoping that you guys can help me out with this. And it has to do with the slicer so check this out all right you guys so let me show you what i'm talking about here so i've drug in that pirelli keychain tire right there all right now let's just say that i wanted to color it so i'm in orca flash forge i'm going to go to color painting here and i'm going to go to white and what i can do one by one and this is what i did do is just color each of these here but just to make things a little bit faster, I'm just going to go to height range and I'm just going to bring it all the way up and then just go to the upper level of the height. And this is what it should look like. So when I'm done painting it, I'm assuming like, yeah, it's going to look just like this. But when I go to slice it, you'll see that it is a different story. While P0 is still there and the lines on the side are still there, the Pirelli logo is just this weird, these weird rectangles here. 
and I don't know how to uh, fix that. Um, I have tried doing different things such as detecting uh, thin walls. I've changed the wall generator. I've lowered the the layer heights, but it just doesn't seem to fix it. And it's the same thing if I go over to Bamboo Studio, which is you know pretty much the same thing. You know there are slight differences, but I can go to color painting on here, and um, let's just say I wanted the words to be yellow. So I'm just gonna once again go to my height range, the very top, boom, Pirelli and yellow. But then when I go to slice this same thing you got that weirdness going on there so i don't know what exactly causes that if anyone has a solution to this uh issue please let me know so everyone else can know as well but besides these weird rectangles here and the Pirelli logo not printing out completely i do think that the 85x did do a good job on the lines on the top so if you wanted to print some tpu tires and you wanted to get some letters on the sidewalls here it is very possible you just gotta try to make sure that this type of thing does not happen but the result that you can get from it i think is uh, pretty serviceable and this is ultimately how the tire turned out. So it looks just like it did on the slicer. We got the P0 looking good and we got the, the white lines on the tire looking good. But that Pirelli logo does not look like the Pirelli logo. It's just those weird rectangles. So I have no idea why that happens. And I'm hoping someone can help me out on that. But here's a look at the other side. This one didn't actually need any supports. It wasn't stringy at all. But this is the best example that I was able to do. So by having a tire with the text on the very top layer, this is the type of result that you can get, provided you can get all of the text to print. I do enjoy doing these little experiments that I otherwise would not have done had it not been for people in the community letting me know what they wanted to use this printer for. I was not aware of there being a larger community of people who like to use 3D printing for things like RC or anything else that might need tires or, or like trains and things like that. So it's really awesome to be able to see how wide this interest spreads. But this is just a little taste of what you can get if you do try to print with the 85X with a combination of TPU and PLA in order to get your tires looking as good as you can. And as far as the dimensional accuracy goes, was able to squeeze this wheel into this tire and uh it looks pretty much perfect in the way that it is nicely secure in there so that should help you out as well well as usual i got a lot more stuff that i need to do with this printer coming up and just for a little teaser one of the next videos i'm going to be doing focuses on using petg supports for pla models so that should be the next video in this series about this printer but if there's something else that you are curious about be sure to let me know in the comments because like i said earlier that's where a lot of these ideas come from so thank you all so much for watching till next time take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you soon